Welcome, dear friends, to Still Wakes the Deep. Let us begin. Standard or story? Stories experience the story with a reduced fear of death. No, I like a, fear, a healthy fear of death in my games. Let's go. <laughs> Sometimes I even like an unhealthy fear of death. We'll see which this is. Still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. You can't run forever. Ah, uh, but Susa had to. I mean, you were just trying to Probably. do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now, please, Kaz. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Susan. Jesus, Sus. Girls made you a Christmas card. 18th of December, 1975. Oh, fuck. Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> Kaz, Troy's finishing up breakfast if you want something. I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Troy's. Aye, well, don't you wait too long or someone will be up with you. Aye. Yeah, all right. So we're on an oil rig. Probably in the North Sea, and I need to invert the camera. Hang on. I know, blasphemy, according to some. Not me. There we go. Confirm. Much better. Oh, I've got a body! That's awesome. Now, the Christmas card. Uh, sorry, girls. Kate and Mady. The kind of spell. of course a letter from Sue's anyway I'd uh... oh okay family photos it's a nice looking shadow Yes, I'm ransacking my mate's room. Assuming he's my mate. Aye, I don't know. Quite right, Trots. To Cadal Management and Board, care of Mr. D. Rennick, Installation Manager, Beera D. From NSOWU, Cadal Branch, care of Mr. I. Campbell, NSOWU Representative, Beera D. Platform. Dear Sirs, North, uh, North Sea Oil Workers Union, SNSOWU, that's what that is, Aberdeen Branch, gives notice under the provisions of the Trade Union and Labour Relations Act of 1974 
of our intention to take industrial action. This is due to your abject failure to meet with our representatives to discuss genuine safety grievances from our members. We urge you to engage with us and resolve our valid dispute. Ends. Fair enough. Okay, whoever this fella is that lives in here, Campbell, seems to have communist leanings. Which is, you know, it's up to him, really. Not that way, okay. O'Connor. Stay in this place. Jesus, O'Connor, look after your room, buddy. Oh. You can look over your shoulder by holding down the right stick. That's interesting, and I'm sure will be useful. Henderson's room. must have been back on shore last night. Aye. Just left what looks to be an empty pack of smokes behind. That's rude. Could at least have less left a couple in the pack. Hey, dude. All right, Cavs. Hey. All right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not well, one not thing, doing. it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. If I've only just started drilling. Alright. Fucking Kadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, <coughs> you are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to a high do ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. That's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can I find my lighter anywhere? Take mine. I don't need it anymore, honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds hmm. like a plan. See ya. I'm loving the atmosphere in this. Mate, having a shower. Who I'm not going to actually hassle while he's in the shower, that would be rude. I don't know where the hell I'm meant to go. Uh, while we can ransack people's rooms, let's do that. Doesn't he surprise me? Put Britons first. Stop immigration. Reject common market. Restore capital punishment. Make Britain great again. Scrap overseas aid and rebuild our own our armed forces. Vote National Front. Yeah. Um. Whoever lives in this room. He's a bit of a dickhead. I would suggest. A dare. Let's avoid a dare. Not that I'll have much choice in who to avoid or associate with, probably. Well, this is cozy. Gibson and Dobby. I really shouldn't be, uh invading everyone's privacy like this but I don't care I just want to explore take bastards okay memorandum to all staff Aberdeen to all staff offshore due to late delivery of beer afield and ongoing strike action the board has determined that no Christmas bonus will be made for the financial year 1975 to 76 Merry Christmas Bernard Cuntingham chairman Yes, I pronounced his name correctly. 
No Christmas bonus. That's just rude. It's Christmas! For fuck's sake. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's... Ah, I found the sprint. Go down the canteen. Oh, I found the map. That's where we are. Okay. 113 has first aid. That's good to know. 118 as well. I'm sure that'll be handy. The lifeboat. I'm sure we're probably going to have to make a run to and we won't be able to get to it. Because that's the way this works. I mean, not that I'm remotely expecting anything to go wrong on this lovely oil rig. Well, there's signs to the canteen. So let's go to the crew lounge. I'd love it if all my dithering around, I'm late for breakfast and it's gone. Oh, this actually looks like a pretty cosy crew lounge. That's not bad. Dance tournament! Okay, where am I? Oh, I'm in the semi-finals. Or I got to the semi-finals. Finals is Finley versus Brody. We met Finley. <coughs> Friday jukebox. Okay. I'm not going to try and make any sense of that chicken scratch. Now, for the time, that is a pretty nice TV. In fact, that's just a really nice setup. I mean, they might have pokey little rooms that are uncomfortable and cramped, but at least the common areas are nicely, sort of... Yeah, anyway. Canteen, this way. Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mere rigs up here by the end of next year, because the <coughs> bats in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, none of this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones, and Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, oh, this place... Oh, come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here it fix the lecky. <laughs> what do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty! <laughs> <laughs> bunch of Scotsmen stranded on an oil rig and things are gonna go perfectly fine because this isn't a freaky horror game at all. How you doing boys? No bad Kaz. Raf's here's a bit shaky though. Gonna be the lad's first solo dive this morning. Is that right? Mm. Ah, you'll be alright pal. <coughs> this will be a big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ no. I'll stick to the lecky thanks. No great and tight space, isn't it? It's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Kaz. Ah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. Now, by 
Kaz saying he's just here to fix the lackey. He means electricity, of course. Ah, this is the prick. Enjoying your last day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy, from what I've heard. Ah, give peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, I dare. I'll be fine. Well, you'll not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth, McCleary. Why? What's she gonna do? Shove baked beans in it? Mmm, baked beans. Anyway, these fellas. No, they just wanted to have a laugh at me taunting a dare. Or is that. No. No, just can't interact with them. Fair enough. Don't have to talk to everyone. But I do have to talk to this fella. In a minute. Sorry, I saw this. Chrissy oh, Dame menu. Cullen skink and scotch broth for starters. Roast turkey and haggis for the main. Neeps and tatties. Brussels sprouts, carrots, pigs in blankets, black pud, gravy, bread sauce. And for pudding, Christmas pud, brandy sauce, Kranaken, and Perkins. I have to admit, I don't know what half of those things are. But that's fair enough, I'm not Scottish. Excuse me. Hey, Roy, mate. You are right, Roy? Gars, me old mocker. I do. Sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the polis? Can't be surprised, Kaz. We hear from Suze. She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get the jail she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off Suze. He had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate. Even if it is the polis, maybe it's best to just go back and face it. Yeah? Ach, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Seuss does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. Is it? It's not over. Until the final whistle. Aye. You're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hand for that McCleary. Yeah. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. Okay. Um. Yeah, uh, uh, on to the deck. Ooh. Home sweet home. Okay. So we've got to be in the accommodation section now. Because, you know, been in people's rooms and shit. Um, that looks like it's probably out onto the deck. Hey, you can get in the galley from behind. That's interesting. Oh, you don't mind me, Roy. <laughs> Exit to deck.
<coughs> proper safety equipment is important especially if you're on an oil rig in the middle of the ocean See what the score is. Am I all right to get by, pal? It's all right. You have to go around, cars. Ah, uh, great, 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 great. Uh, looking like this way, I reckon. Yeah, that's the way down. That's interesting. You have to hold your climb. Huh. That's new. As in, it's something I've certainly never encountered before in a game. I like it. Because it means if you need to drop off the ladder suddenly, you can just do that. That's really quite handy. Cross the deck to Renick's office. Okay, we're there. Lower deck. We want the admin building, I'm sure. Um, seems like it's through here. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Need a hand there, fellas. A cleaning. <coughs> I can scalp in this hero by myself. <laughs> no, we're not, eh? Cheers, though. Fair enough. You want to transfer here, McCleary? You give me less lip. No. He loves it. McCleary! My office! I don't make me ask again! In a better mood today, is he? You'll be alright, Kaz. You get used to it. We all get a turn. Try not to punch him. Ah, <laughs> no promises. Yeah. Give me a minute to check. It's fair again, I can see from here! Run through, I love that! <laughs> Renick will love it even more! You're telling him! I told him last time, this one's all yours! Alright, Roper, what's the problem? Don't usually see you down here. Ah, trolls acting up this morning. Got the crew running around like blue ass flies, but they cannot make head or tail of it. Is that you's behind <coughs> schedule then? No, not yet. And not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere fuck than ever. Poor as fucked as you by the sounds of it. Look, you better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. The boss man can quite kindly go and fuck himself I can patch it but we'll need to keep an eye maybe say a prayer and all Because I can't find a way up. Stay on the path, mate. A cargo hoist will crush you if you get close. Yeah, no doubt. Jesus, Scooby. 
give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? What do you need, Scoop? Oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? I need bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal. Alrighty. <coughs> I have talked to everyone on the intro. That's great. Yeah, I'm sure that fuse that you switched over was probably responsible for doing something. But I'm sure Kaz knew what he was doing, it looked like he did. I'm figuring probably uh, the installation manager office. Well, where we fucking go? Enter. On Friday. Ah, Mr. McClary. So glad you could join me, and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. No, I'm fine, Stan. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I, I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's no ship. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! <laughs> I am sick, sick to fucking bouking of you wee gobshites messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of shite on shore, McClary, but out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the polis to my door, to my rig. Uh, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. <laughs> I've got here's a man who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Wait, I know Shut it! I'm in a meeting. What? Fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! And I'll come down there myself! Is that uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? Fired. Uh, come on, man. It's only a wee bit of trouble with the polis. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Ouch! Get off my rig! Aye. Happy New Year to you too, you cunt. Well. That would have been far more satisfying, Kaz, if you'd actually said it to his face and not softly through a door. Okay. Board the helicopter. We're leaving the oil rig? Nah, we can't be. We just we just started the game. Well, Running for you guys. Yeah. 
Go away. Too late. Oh, <coughs> oh heck. Christ, but you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran, you remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. Does me a favour. Reckons he can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Right, you lost the cake at the wedding. No, now then. Now then. <laughs> that wasn't my fault. We left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, well that bloater didn't even remember breaking the cut. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Uh, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Hey. Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on a rig with this bad pot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Christ! He's got gold! Shit! Guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Cass! I think he's dead! We got you, man, alright? We got think you! He's dead! Oh no! He's breathing, thank Christ! Kaz! Wake up, Kaz! Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he gonna die, Brody? <laughs> Kaz! <laughs> Well, I'm awake. And, uh, okay. Find Gregor. Fuck. I'm sorry, Cass. Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. Oh, no, no. Rass is still in there. Why aren't these working? Cass, I need you to help me. Cass! What? Right. Aye, what, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake, then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Alrighty. It's all right. We're getting you out. We'll be two minutes, pal. Let's save Raph's ass. Um, we won't even be that long, I'm sure. Uh, right. Okay. Disengage. Winch break down here. That's it. Come back and winch up the bell now. <laughs> Seems like it. Alrighty. What's going on, Brody? What happened? Don't know. The drill hit something. An air pocket or gas explosion, nobody knows. 
But whatever it was, it was big. You were lucky, trust me. Are you Mom saying... trying to find out there. Like if the bear is even safe now. Are you saying laughs? we don't delved know, right? too greatly in too deep? shouldn't be this bad. Oh, I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, Raffs. It's pro day. I'm going to get you out. Uh, is there anything there I can do? No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right. I'll head down now. First thing I would have done, I reckon, is explore the whole thing. Or as much of it as I could get away with. So I'm sure there would be areas that... Uh, you don't want to go, or that you wouldn't be allowed in. Maybe I don't Can't know. Get this one open. No chance. Christ. Maybe it's just stupidly big. Um, this way I think. Let's see. Access to engineering. Okay. So it's behind. It is that way. Well, of course it's that way with the broken bit of brokenness. Shit. do that, yeah? Let's instead. Break her ankles. Does not look good. Unlocking anything, that's breaking a lock. Uh huh. This is safe. Flipping ah. out. Okay, okay, okay.
give me that ladder. Thank you. Now let me climb that ladder. Yep, weirdness looks like weirdness. Someone delved too greedily and too deep again. Shite! Can't fucking see again. Okay, no opening that door. Oh, Shit! Too many years of automatic grabbing on to uh, ladders in midair. Now I have to hold it. Shite! Fucking sea again. No, you've you've ended up in the sea three times. That's twice too often. There we go. That's better. Much better. Oh shit. Come on. Christ. Too close. Ha. <sighs> Okay. Oh, can help. Oh, just get across. I think this game epitomizes the old saying, worst things happen at sea. Now we're in engineering. I'd like to find out what has happened. Why is this happening? And will Kaz ever make it home to Sue's and to get arrested by the police? Will that ever happen? Will he see his daughters again? Kate and Maddie or Maddie or whatever. Probably Maddie. I don't know. If we didn't already know what a dick Rennick is, I'd be saying Rennick's a total dick. Drop! There we go. <laughs> just, I honestly just like dropping off of ladders because I can, finally. Okay. <laughs> ah. 
I didn't say that there. <laughs> I uh, stood here and jumped trying to get up there. Obviously, you can't. And, um... Tried to do something silly. Where the fuck am I? Uh, you're still in leg C. Not really sure where we're meant to be going from here, honestly. Other than through engineering. Finally, something useful. Ah. A wee torch. A wee helmet mounted torch. Even better. Not safety goggles though. We don't need that. Okay. Cool. Let there be light. Because, of course, we need monsters on this oil rig that's, uh, screwed up and in the middle of the North Sea and about to be, I don't know, horrible stuff's happening anyway. I'm actually really liking that, uh... Ugh, stop fast. Yeah. Really liking that he's got a screwdriver he can use for stuff. That's kind of fun. Oh, Jesus. That's blood. And I think someone was wearing that helmet a few minutes ago. Just a theory. But it, it also kind of sounds like there's something really horrible through here. Yes. Over here. Ah, Jesus. Finley! You alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. Should we no find him? Help him? No. Oh, I'm gonna recommend that. What does that mean? It means he's no alright. After that explosion, they got oil or some shit on him and just... I don't know. He freaked out. Went for me. He's still out there. You mean out here? As in out here with me? Aye. That's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just fucking brilliant. You seen anyone else? I just got here. Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen, you'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quiet like. Could go all the way up there. Jesus. And what about Gibble? Stay the fuck away from him. You're listening to me. He's no right, cuz. I'm no arguing. Cuz. Be fucking careful, eh? Aye. You know. We can do this.
That's more weirdness. Weirdness, it looks like it's either sprouted from somebody's corpse or uh, has incorporated somebody's corpse. Either way, someone is dead in that next room. Or if they're not dead, they wish they were. Okay. So we're going down here. Ow! Don't need ankles. I'm fine, really. then. Fine. You've convinced me. Although, we're from here. Um... Okay, fine. So, way forward up the ladder. So, we'll just duck under this and cable. That looks like steam, which I'm going to have to turn off here. Alrighty. Now we'll turn off this thing as well. This way. Hmm. Well, that looks unpleasant. Ah, ladder release. Ah. I think Gibbo might have noticed me, maybe, I don't know. He's <sighs> out here somewhere. Oh, I'm willing to bet I probably have to interact with him somehow. saw that shadow. Okay, so the water tanks, which we have to go through in order to get to accommodation. Because when all else fails, just go back to your room, hey. That's as they can help.
no idea where I'm going. Try not to. I know I'm going back over myself a lot. That's uh, mainly just the fact that uh, well, this whole bit's a little bit freaky actually. I've done quite well. Very impressed. Very impressed with the atmosphere in this game. Don't want to come anywhere near you, don't worry, mate. You just stay over where you are. Well. Oh, I don't like underwater sections. Okay, we're up here now. Douglas. 
not Gibbo's fault. But Douglas is dead. Not Gibbo's fault, not even at all. No, it probably isn't, really. He seems to uh, have had horrible things happen. Okay, we're going this way now. Bloody clipboard. Exit to accommodation, right where we want to be. Not there, no. Dude, you didn't want me anywhere near you. You were threatening to do horrible things to me. You sounded very scary, and now you'd want me to not leave you alone? Good luck with that, mate. Jesus. Hi. Yeah, you'll be home soon. Sure, mate. You did. <coughs> I am going to get warm. Jesus. I'm going to leave this here for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I know I have. Come back for more sometime soon.